Okay, so now you've had some chance to code in the JSF technology using these uh, embedded uh, Java expressions. Let's talk about the theory behind it and why this is a good way to design your app. We're using a technique called MVC, which stands for Model View Controller. It's extremely common throughout software design. So not just in Java, but JavaScript or C Sharp or any other language where you have an app that has multiple screens. The main idea is that you never put together in the same class your presentation, such as your HTML, and your business logic, or even the navigation. You're supposed to separate all those. And the reason why you separate them is it's simply a, a better way to manage your app as it gets more complex. The model, its job is to take care of the data in your application. So the model might be uh, managing the calculations, the business logic, and probably talk to the database. The view manages the display of your data. So these are your web pages that you're creating, mostly HTML code in our case. And the controller is the menu, you might say. What happens when you click a submit button? So here's a graphical view of how the uh, model view controller system is working. You can see that we would start with a view and the view binds data into the model. So we would have the embedded user dot first name uh, link in the view. The controller in the background handles the button clicks, so it would uh, request data from the model and then forward it on to a, a new view. So Java Server Faces is the uh, Java Enterprise implementation of MVC. So you can see it was uh, invented in 2006. And surprisingly, uh, from 1999 to 2006, there was no MVC standard. And so people started to invent their own. So Apache Struts is a name that you may have heard of an early attempt at MVC using Java Enterprise. And so JSF is a nice programmer's friend because it allows you to embed a property of an object directly into a web page without any programming whatsoever. And so you've seen that in our example of our, our, our login form. So let's talk about what we build in our model JSF application. Let's start with number one. It says here, a model, our objects. It says POJOs, which are uh, plain old Java objects. And so in our example app, the user class is the model. And it simply has a properties of first name and last name. The view is the form, such as the login form or the response page. Both of those are part of the view. The controller is the managed bean that takes care of the mouse clicks. So the on submit command is in the controller. And so you can see the flow of uh, control it goes in this triangle between model view and controller. Now we've built a pretty simple MVC program and as you build your own apps there's going to be some recommendations that you should follow. So unfortunately you'll find some uh, coding examples and classes out there on the internet that are probably not done correctly. They don't follow the standards of MVC. It's simply a bad practice to include everything in one class. It might be tempting to do so but that will quickly become obviously wrong after you've built five or six pages and things begin to get complex. So let's talk about this class that we created, the, the user class. First of all, it's just a plain old Java object. It's a class. And the properties represent the uh, first and last name. So models usually just represent objects. So think of user as an example, or maybe reports, or purchases or some kind of a item that is in your business and you need to have a, an object to represent it. Let's review some of the things that we see in our application environment. Notice we had the source folder where we uh, put our packages in. We had the beans and controllers packages. And then the uh, web INF folder is where we created our, our actual views, our, our web pages. We also saw in our application the concept of managed beans. The idea of being managed is that they're linked directly to the web page or the, the JSF. 
And so we put the decorator in there, managed bean, and then the two became linked automatically. So another decorator that I did not include in the code that we wrote was called view scoped. View scoped is by default what a managed bean gets. And so this means that if you want to know how long the uh, data is valid, you know, how long is it connected to the page, in this case uh, it's connected just by the, the one window, the one browser window. So later on we're, we're going to create a, a demonstration application that will show you the difference between what all these scopes do and that will make it more clear for you. There's something else that you may have noticed in our programming. Uh, we're using these templates for using JSF uh, faces. And so we prefixed a lot of our tags with a letter H. So these tag libraries uh, generate standard HTML code after it has been run through the uh, JBoss web server. A reminder what binding is. You can see in the case here we bound first and last name to a place on our website. So that gives you a summary of some of the things that you should have noticed while we were programming our application.